In this tutorial, we'll be going over some quick techniques on cleaning up your mesh that can really help and improve your workflow when modeling. Welcome to another episode of Blender Beginner to Better. Let's begin. To clean up our mesh, we'll be using the action of dissolving edges and vertices. Doesn't sound too friendly, however it's actually very simple to use and understand what it does. I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode for our cube. As you can see, the entire right side is very clean looking and doesn't use that many faces. But if we look to the left, we have a bunch of unnecessary faces that aren't even needed. First off, if you happen to have a simple mesh like I do here, where it's literally a beveled cube, the quick solution to this is by pressing A on your keyboard in edit mode to select everything, then pressing X on your keyboard and scrolling down to where it says limited dissolve. Basically limited dissolve merges all the vertices and edges separating flat regions, parts that don't have any value of change in the geometry. We can adjust how much detail is reduced with the max angle value right over here. This changes the dissolved vertices and edges depending on the degree and angle chosen. If you're aware on how the auto smooth angle value works, it's essentially the same concept. However, limited dissolve should only be used situationally. For example, if you happen to have a very complicated sculpted out model that has been or has not been retopologized, using the limited dissolve can sometimes negatively affect the geometry of your mesh. The limited dissolve really only works best on models with a lot of flat regions. But what if there's just a certain part on the model that we want to clean up? For example, all these extra edges over here isn't necessary and I want to make them all one big face. Well, we can simply do just that by doing exactly what we did before, but instead of clicking limited dissolve, we click dissolve edges. This removes the edges sharing the faces in between, thus joining the faces. The same technique can be applied with vertices, if we just select the vertices that we want to remove, and then click dissolve vertices. Dissolving a vertex will basically merge the surrounding edges and or faces. And of course, you can also dissolve faces. Dissolving multiple faces will merge them into one single face if they are sharing the same edges at least. So that's about it on dissolving vertices and edges, a quick and simple way on cleaning up flat or planar regions on your mesh. If you found this tutorial helpful in any way, please be sure to leave a like to show your support on this video and leave a comment. If you're new here, my name is Joshua via 2EZCG and I post beginner to intermediate only tutorials on modeling, finding new ways to use materials and other things CG. Thanks for watching and bye.